I I just went and watched Top Gun Maverick by myself in a movie theater. I went with no friends. I could have invited friends, but I wanted to go by myself. I was sat next to in the theater, quite possibly the largest, fattest woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Oftentimes, I've been known to whine about being an incel in the past, I've whined. However, today I am grateful that I never laid hands on such a vile creature as that. I'd rather be dead than be the man who was married sitting next to her. The movie was annoying ass fucking keychain shit in the uh, the movie was good. It was great, actually. I thought it was great. Not many liked the original Top Gun um, for tomorrowism. And it is true, it is a very gay movie. However, that also makes it a funny movie in many ways. Because it is subvertly gay, not overtly gay. Whatever. This one was good. Uh, there was a lot of cool action, the plane to the fly thingy. And the story was really good and compelling. The characters were really interesting. And uh, it has Highway to the Danger Zone. And there's really not much more you could ask for in a movie besides that. I don't know what else you want. You know? Is Tom Cruise a creepy, potentially satanic piece of shit? Yes. But goddamn, the man can put on a good action movie. They actually had the planes. You could tell it was not CG bullshit. They had, I mean, there was some CG in there when they blew up the planes, right? But they had real planes doing real dogfights. And that's cool. That's cool shit, man. You don't see that in movies anymore. Seeing like things actually happen, you can tell it feels different. It feels fucking different seeing real action status shit happen. And I know, um,. People, and the reality is Tom Cruise is the only one who makes movies like that where actual shit happens on the screen because he's like addicted to it so you know not a fan of the man himself but you know it was good action you gotta love it you gotta love that shit um, I thought Miles Teller was good I thought all the supporting cast was very good they had the uh, token female character who was actually not annoying or obnoxious in fact, there was maybe one, like, quip about her being a woman, but, like, it was like, thrown as a throwaway line to make the douchebag character more of a douchebag. And, like, the woman didn't, like, snap back with a quirky comeback. Like, the nerdy guy get a kick, gave the comeback on him because the, the, the woman was just stoic. She just didn't sell it. I don't know. I thought it was good. And, uh, you know, I thought the, uh, Val Kilmer dies. I, uh, there were some people chattering behind me for the fucking whole movie, and they annoyed the shit out of me. I don't know why I go to the movie theaters anymore. You know? I just want to go and, like, enjoy it like I used to, but it's been forever tainted by, like, people snickering and being, like, you know, lazy slobs in there and, like, fucking throwing shit around. It just becomes, it can be kind of a gross, disgusting experience, you know? But... I had a fun time at the movies. It was a fun time at the movies. Um, I wish I could have seen that Nicolas Cage movie in theaters, but I'm glad I went and saw this. This is a good theater movie. Um, despite the setbacks, I thought it was one of my favorite theater-going experiences in a while. Much better than going to see The Northman. God, that was fucking bad. Con. Is he gonna follow me? Oh, he's not gonna follow me. Sweet. Haha. <laughs> Sweet. Yo, know, I mean, say what you want, but it was it was and it wasn't like despite it being a military movie, it was surprisingly non political. They didn't like make it about Russia bad or, you know, terrorism or whatever. It was just like they made it as as, like, cold and, like, timeless as possible as they could. And they had some stuff about, like, the pilots being, like, aged out and replaced by drones. 
but it wasn't like played too much up. It was just kind of a, a line to establish a character. It was just all. It was. It was a movie that was really well written. Shockingly, you know, you think from Top Gun, like how the fuck do you make a well written Top Gun movie? And they 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 did do it. You know, right? Like. It's not, it's not the kind of movie you would think would be well-written, but Top Gun was a well-written movie, shockingly. Um, it was very character-focused, and the plot was, like, succinct. There was no bullshit. There was... But the, it, there was no bullshit, but there was enough... It wasn't just, like, raw plot, right? Whereas, like, you know, something like, uh, I don't know, like, the original... Like, the, like one of the, some of the Raid Redemption movies, or, like... Uh, What's it called? Um, hell, even Mad Max Fury Road, I think it's a similar one. Uh, which I don't like, Mad Max Fury Road. Um, people are comparing that movie to, this movie to that one I saw in reviews, and I think this is better than Fury Road by a significant margin. This is an actually, like, decent movie, unlike the fucking bullshit-ass Fury Road. Uh, but in Fury Road, like, it, it's just, like, it's just, like, the, the bare minimum, like, the, the plot is clear and crisp, but there's, like, this one, the plot is clear and crisp, but there's still, like, fluff and character stuff in between to make you care about stuff. But it's not like bullshit. It's just it's just enjoyable moments. Like it, t- it takes its time, and it is a simple, fairly standard plot. But it doesn't just do a standard plot. There's more going on. Um, I guess my final review score is I would recommend it. Obviously, I don't recommend going to movie theaters in general. Right now, they're kind of a miserable experience. But you know, if you're getting dragged to the movie theaters by your family because they say I want to go see a movie. Take him to Top Gun. Don't take him to Doctor Strange. Don't take him to whatever fucking shit's gonna come out. You know, it's gonna suck. Um, you know. River Bull crap. Take him to Top Gun. Because they'll like it. Your mom and dad... Your dad's gonna like the movie. Your mom may even like the movie. And you won't be miserable. You'll enjoy yourself. It's, it's, a, win, it's a win for the whole family. It's a movie your dad will like. Trust me, your dad's gonna like this one. I know I said that about a lot of movies, and I've been wrong, but your dad will like this movie. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Does anyone even watch my videos anymore? Should I just give up? Should I stop uploading? Should I instead uh, write obscure video essays and about... Uh, why the Nintendo Switch is going stronger than ever in its fifth year? I don't think so! <laughs> hey. Top Gun was good. And I'm a bad person for, um... Once again, consuming movie products at the theater. Good night. If you wonder why I saw this movie, it's because my coworker said he wanted to talk to me about it. So I went and saw it so I could have a conversation with my friend at work. Which I think is a valid reason to go to the movies. I've got like a fucking like U shaped wrinkle. Oh my god. So much stress. I literally have like a fucking bulging vein from stress. Jesus Christ. Is there like a worm? Is there like a worm in my brain? Is there like a, is there a worm eating my brain, like growing right here? Am I grow? Is there a worm inside my head eating my soul, and filling my head with microplastics? Has the worm possessed me? Am I a worm? Am I a worm? Am I the f- fucking worm?